Vita adds a new way of interacting to bring you closer to the action and makes you feel part of the environment. We've come from a background of being proper hardcore gamers, I suppose. So whilst on one hand we're trying to make the game appealing to a wide audience, it's got to be easy to pick up and play. We're trying to make it something that's really fun to go back to so the more experienced players have got something to get their teeth into. When you begin the game, you're in the countryside and you've got a couple of levels to choose from. Each of those are kind of showing off different features of the console. When you complete those, you'll unlock extra levels and eventually you'll unlock all six regions and you'll have 30 levels to play with. The one that I really enjoy playing is Neutron Nudger. And it's basically a puzzle game which involves the nuclear deviants and you have to fire a, a beam of particles into them to charge them up, but this is all based on a sphere. So you use the rear touchpad to rotate the sphere around, front touchpad to move devices around and manipulate the puzzle. It's the tactile thing of feeling like, well, I'm actually rolling this sphere around rather than pressing left on a stick to make it rotate. The game I'm playing now is uh, Rotten Rumble, where we have our little goofy deviants who's trapped in a uh, wrestling arena fighting zombies. And this is a game that makes use of the rear and the front touch mechanic together to develop what we call the pinch mechanic, where the actual ring itself is deformed, almost like a rubber ring. And you can use that to ping the goofer round and hit the various zombies. Again, it's a very natural, very simple control mechanism that still allows a huge degree of control over where you want, you want your little character to go. And this is one of the games that really makes beautiful use of the, the front screen. You've got the screen itself, the quality of it is absolutely superb. The colours are sharp, it's bright, it's vibrant, and it really does make our games look absolutely fantastic. Usually you're sort of just pressing a button and that would trigger some animation, but here you're actually physically interacting with the characters I guess it brings you closer to the action and makes you feel part of the environment. It's certainly got that sense of immediacy. A lot of that's down to the, the actual power of the Vita, the hardware capabilities it's got. That, that we, we can do all of these things in real time and it's very, very responsive. There is absolutely no lag whatsoever. All the games run at 60 frames, so they all look beautifully smooth, brilliant colours and it really does absolutely show off the, uh, the fine work that our artists have done in creating these backgrounds, models and characters. As much as possible, we try to make this a social game. We like to encourage a lot of friendly competition there. You can compete against everybody around the world and uh, you can also send challenges to your friends. I can send you a challenge because I've got 20,000 points on Box Blast and you're travelling on the bus somewhere, if you've got your Wi-Fi enabled or even your 3G, then that challenge will pop up and it goes straight into the game and you can try and beat my score. Okay, so the game I'm playing now is Depth Dive. And this is a game that uses the, the tilt mechanic to guide the Deviant down as it drops down through the caves. The artists have done a fantastic job with these environments. Very different looking, but very kooky, but still very easy to see what's going on. The controls are a simplicity itself. You're just tilting the console in the direction you want to see your little blob of deviant to fly. So it's very, very responsive. It's very easy to glide this little fellow around corners at speed. And as you progress through the caves, the, the caves themselves get more and more twisty. You've got gusts of wind you have to try and avoid. Other obstacles like whirlwinds all the while picking up the stars and racing down to the bottom as fast as you can before the uh, timed bomb explodes. Beautiful little game, so easy to play and a lot of fun. It's a great portable game to match the Vita and really shows off what the Vita can do. You've got similar power to the previous home consoles but in a portable device but with all these new interfaces on it as well. The new modes of interacting that we have with these devices can radically change the types of games that we can do. I kind of like that we're making a game that just doesn't use 
is a PlayStation game that doesn't use anything that's traditional in terms of PlayStation controls. It's a more immediate way of interacting with the virtual environments that we create. It's kind of a new era of handheld gaming. 